Hello everyone, this is Jimmy and welcome to episode 6 of All the Mods 3. Before we get started today, I want to thank you guys for being patient with me. Uh, the last couple episodes have been a little, you know, spaced apart, but we are ready to get back on our regular upload schedule. I'm back home and rearing to go. That said, it's been uh, like two weeks since I've logged in, so I need to figure out where I left off. Let's see, so we're basically done with tier 1, because we've been to the nether, and we are just beginning tier 2. Cool. Um, so I guess our options are either to begin Thawncraft or actually additions, and I tend to go tech before magic. So let's start by making a atomic reconstructor, shall we? Alright, so uh, iron, redstone, nether rack dust, dense copper plates, and glowstone dust. Uh, Alright, so this, uh, no, this probably takes the compressor. Did I ever make a compressor? This is a compressor, right? That's a furnace. This is a compressor. Neat. And do I have... Oh, I have a bunch of stuff in here to process. Um, I guess all this can just go through the furnace. That's probably why I made it. Aha! Alright, so I'm gonna uh, make some copper plates and other things and get ready to make that um, atomic reconstructor. Oh boy, is a macerator really slow at making this, um, this netherrack dust probably takes, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds per piece. Come on, could you work any slower? Anyways, to speed it up, we can make overclocker upgrades. And there are two tiers of them, regular and quantum. Um, I don't know. I haven't used IC2 Classic in a long time. So I have no clue what the quantum one does. I assume it's just better. But the regular one isn't actually all that difficult to make. So um, basically, it takes a lot of these 10k coolant cells is the gist of it. Uh, I think no matter, there's all these recipes, but they effectively take the same amount of resources. So, um, yeah. Anyway, to take 10k coolant cells, which is just a bunch of tin around uh, any bucket of water. So it fills watering cans, but yeah, there we go. We can do water buckets. So it's actually very easy. It just has to take a fair bit of tin. So let me make up a handful of these. Um, these electric circuits are probably the worst part, but it's not even all that bad. And we can see, um, do I have any tin in here? I don't. That's a shame. That's on its way. All right. Um, but yeah, I'll make a handful and see if we can make our mace raider a little bit less painfully slow. And our other machine, too. Ah, good old IC2. Items that really, by all means, should stack don't. But um, whatever. They're pretty annoying to make for now because of all the not stacking items. And I don't have enough electric circuits, apparently. So let's just start with three. I think each one increases speed by 70% and decreases or it increases energy consumption to 130%. I don't know the exact numbers, but um, it definitely makes it run. Well, hold on, does it make it run fast? Yeah, that's noticeably faster. Um, but you can see with those in, our energy is now draining in our battery. So uh, we can't run this at 100% uptime, at least not while running other machines. But um, I think if we like move one of these over here, maybe that'll allow our energy to be positive. No, it's still just barely negative. Uh, maybe one thing we can look into is improving our energy situation at some point but for now um you know since we have the battery here as long as the battery isn't completely drained we'll be fine so uh yeah so some upgrades for our ic2 machines and again this is noticeably faster than a regular furnace now which is nice um, i do believe the furnace uses a lot less energy than the macerator so well maybe not we're actually using energy even faster now i don't know whatever um, point is, speed upgrade's good. Faster furnaces, very good. These machine casings tend to be things you need, you know, more than one of, right? Because you need, like, one per machine. So let's make a handful of these, and then get a bit more redstone. Uh-oh. All my redstone is in this chest. Is that all the redstone I have? Dang it. All right, I guess I gotta go mining um, for a little bit more redstone. we are two pieces short of making the atomic against before we go mining though, let's see about upgrading our satchel. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if you have to empty it out. Here, let's test it. Before upgrading, um, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Depends on how the recipes are written. Alrighty, so let's see if we kept that torch. Hey, we did. Good thing I emptied it out. Alright, cool. So let's put all our stuff back in here. And then uh, it has one more row. I wonder, can I go up to this tier yet? No, I need a topic reconstructor for that. Okay. Cool. Well, at least that gives us one more row of, you know, inventory space to hold stuff in. 
Vein Miner also makes getting these ores a lot easier. It's like I can get, you know, five, six, seven ores in one go. Aha. And uh, I guess I'll even stop to get coal now because I can just Vein Mine it. Feels good, man. Ooh, Lapis. Uh, how close am I to Fortune? Let's see. So I have Fortune 2 already. So, uh, yep, a bit more Lapis. We can get Fortune 3 on our pick. All right. It only took about 15 minutes, maybe, to fill my inventory up completely, uh, thanks to both Ore Excavator and our, you know, Magnet pulling ores to us. Um, anyways, uh, I've also had a chance to actually read comments now, so I can use the slash home command to teleport home. Uh, this will be much easier than trying to find my way back every time after caving. Voila. Um, obviously, you have to set your home before you do so. Cool. So now, uh, let's see. I don't remember what I wanted. I wanted red so initially, right? But let me clean up my inventory. Uh, oh, this place is a disaster. Um, and then we can keep, get back to crafting. All right. First things first, let's get fortune three on our pick. I don't know how much of this it'll take. All of it, apparently. And we come two points short. Um, I'm pretty sure you can slowly gain progress by using the tool, too. So, uh, you know, on second thought, maybe I shouldn't have used 100% of my... Lap is doing that, but oh well, too late to change my mind. We almost have Fortune 3 on our pick, which is a big step. You know, that'll make it so we get even more Lapis, and then I can upgrade stuff like my sword. Anyways, let's see about baking this now. Awesome. Uh, now that I've made the Atomic Reconstructor, I realize we actually never started making RF, did we? Um, and Mana Steel in far. Actually, is there anything here that requires... Maybe we don't have to use it yet. Um, here, let me follow the quest line a bit. I want to see... Oh, is this the storage scanner? Oh, that's awesome. Um, it looks like it doesn't lead us to any energy production here. So let's rewind a bit and make ourselves the Steam Dynamo from uh, Tier 1. So I made the Steam Dynamo, and then I want to make Flux Ducks. Um, yeah, this isn't happening. So I don't actually know if we can transmit power yet. Let's see, does this tell us anything? Upgrades, no, logistics pipes. I was thinking about doing logistics pipes. I really love the mod. Um, and it does do auto crafting, which is something the storage scanner doesn't do, but the storage scanner is just so easy to use. So uh, we'll see. Maybe if, if it turns out we need auto crafting, I can use both the storage scanner and logistics pipes. If not, um, I'll probably just avoid logistics pipes. It's, it's a cool mod, but its functionality is uh, a little less than optimal. Anyways, uh, this doesn't tell me anything about power transport, so I guess we just can't transport power yet, um, which is all right. Let's start putting RF-related machines over here. All right, so to power the atomic reconstructor, we that generates power. Uh, I think, does power come out all sides or only the coil? I guess we can test it, right? I need some fuel and some water. All right, here it goes. The water and fuel. It is burning and energy is not coming out. All right, so I need a wrench. All right, so let's turn that. There we go. And that's powering our atomic reconstructor. Uh, I set it to pulse mode so it doesn't run until we give it a redstone pulse. So I guess I need a button. And then we can start using it to do the uh, atomic reconstructing tasks. Um, next task seems to be to make a machine frame, though. So that's what, mana steel... Mana diamond. Well, can I make mana diamonds yet? Uh, not without a metal bender or a roller at the very least. So looking at our options, the um, low tool tips. The metal bender seems to be the most flexible of the three. It can do all the jobs that the extruder and the roller can do by just using different uh patterns or presses. Um, and it can even like make wires, which I think normally is done in. I guess it is an extruder job. But yeah, uh, despite changing what press goes in it. Um, historically, I think the Metal Bender might have been an MV machine, but I don't, it, there's no, like, voltage tiers. Well, there are voltage tiers, but I think all machines might just be, I don't know. I'm going to make one and find out. Um, the thing is, it takes a, a fair bit, you know, a fair number of these machine blocks, so I'm still working on making those and more electric circuits and yada, yada, yada. I realize I may have uh, created a chicken and egg problem for me. So to use the metal bender, I need to make presses. To make presses, I need blank presses, which need refined iron plates, and these have to be made in either the metal bender or the roller. Um, I don't think any of these I have access to yet. Oh wait, 
I can turn iron plate. Okay, never mind. I, I, my, I was like, the whole reason I made the metal bender was to avoid making a roller, but it looks like I might have had to make a roller. But no, I can just do this in the blast furnace, thankfully. Good. While I wait for that blast furnace to process, there's a couple more things I want to make. So, uh, first up, I want an extractor. This will allow me to... Do I not have wood planks? This will allow me to turn all that, um... All that rubber wood I have into more of these, uh, you know, the rubber pieces to make electric circuits. Jeez. Recipe. This, the recipe button and the sort button are the same button. I should fix that. Um, but yeah, I do need some wood to craft that. Alrighty. Almost there. Once we have the, uh, the storage scanner, crafting will be so much easier. Because then we can, you know, I don't have to run in between inventories anymore. Oh, looking forward to that. Alright, so anyways, let's just slap this down somewhere. And give you some wood. You can see we're a little low on power, apparently. Uh, this is full. This is not. Interesting. Why are you full, then? Can I not extract from you fast enough? You don't do power out all sides, do you? Huh. Weird. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the power here. Why this is full, but uh, this is not. Like, wait, you're not transmitting power at all right now? But you're connected. W w what did I do? Um... Well, I just replaced all the cables and it's working again. So whatever, I'll leave good enough alone. We're gonna have to swap off of a few, you know, coal-based generator soon enough, anyways. But uh, yeah, now we can start rather slowly, but we can turn this rubber wood into rubber balls, which is nice. And actually, I think the extractor can also more efficiently. Uh, oh, I guess it can process some ores, um, but it can more efficiently turn sticky resin into rubber at a uh, one to three instead of. In fact, am I doing it in here? I've already done it. Um, when you smelt it, you get a one-to-one. -one. So any more sticky resin I, you know, gather off the trees, I can process in, in here much more efficiently. Cool. So um, let's check on the status of our blast furnace now. Four pieces. Good enough. That should allow us to make our first set of plates. three of them and let's see I want rolling press I think this makes uh plates extruding press I need a pair of wire cutters do I have a pair somewhere oh cursor all right so extruding press makes wires I think generally speaking yeah and lastly um Let's see, do any of these do anything? This looks like our options are cutting press, but that doesn't do anything. Lathing press doesn't do anything, so let's get the gearing one, I guess. And I think that's all of the press options. Cool. So let's go set up our metal bender. And as we add more machines now, obviously we're not producing nearly enough power to run them all at once. Um, in fact, this machine is getting no power at all i guess because it's all going to our other machines all right um i'm gonna have to upgrade our energy here sooner rather than later by the looks of things all right for the time being we'll upgrade our energy just by running a second generator voila and uh and this i think what's happening is actually the generator produces energy at the same rate you can extract it so uh it can't empty its buffer which makes sense, which is why this buffer is neither filling nor empty. Um, anyways, now we can, yeah, now we have some power flowing in here. I do see it has a speed number. Um, does that mean that, let's see, let's try making some plates in it. Uh, rolling press iron plates. Does that mean that I have to like give it a redstone signal to turn it on and it speeds up? It reminds me of the induction furnace from, uh, from IC2, which um, basically, if you give it a redstone, 
while it's running, it builds up speed, or I guess heat in the case of the induction furnace, and um, that's what determines how if you know fast and efficiently the machine runs. But when it's not running, you can give it a redstone signal to uh, keep the speed up. It'll like drain, you know, have a trickle drain of energy, but in exchange, it'll be able to keep its speed up and thus stay very fast. Um, for what it's worth, though, even just like this, the metal bender is pretty darn fast. It does seem to be taking all of our energy, though, at least all the energy that's reaching it. Whatever, um, I'm, I'm going to try to give it a lever and see what happens. So I think if I give it a redstone signal, even when I take the items out, it should keep trying to maintain its speed. Yeah, there we go. So that means that um, when I put items in again, it'll start processing at the higher speed. But again, the cost is that it's always draining power. So later, when I have more better power production i'll probably do that just to keep it you know keep it running up to speed and make our crafting fast but for now uh we're gonna have to improve our power generation before we can afford to do that so off you go next up we have to make some mana diamonds um i'm actually not 100 percent sure if a diluted mana pool can hold enough mana to do it so i guess we'll find out i guess a basically a hundred percent full mana pool can Cool. Anyways, I'm going to grow a few more trees to uh, speed this along here. While our plates and stuff are still crafting, let's make some Restonia. So I should just be zapping that. Um, looks like oh, we ran out of water. Alright, I'll give it more water later. Um, that is a component for these servos, and then a bunch of deeply nested crafting later. Maybe we can make a device frame. Uh eventually and at last machine frames well that completes the quest i guess we get to turn that coin into something um compact machines or building gadgets i think are our options let me build oh it takes two coins never mind i only have one right oh no i have a second one ha give me building gadgets um i don't i don't know i don't use compact machines a lot because i just build everything on a flat on flat ground you know uh maybe at some point i'll i'll actually build things in compact machines they're like very convenient but um yeah i don't know i'm lazy that's that's the biggest reason is because i'm lazy uh all right anyways moving on from there i suspect that starts unlocking machines now first thing i want definitely storage scanner uh and that doesn't look too bad i just need a bit more mana diamond and i should look into improving my mana generation at some point right now my way of generating mana is to throw food you know at our uh Gormaleus here you have to alternate between two food types to get like maximum efficiency um and it takes the entire mana pool to make a single diamond so i'm just running over here throwing this at it every now and then i'll plant some trees here uh let them grow naturally and then the uh the munch dew will eat their leaves and i guess there's some mana here too so i'll make another diamond haha -ha. anyways i need four to make the storage scanner ah one storage scanner now this takes a little bit of power so for now um actually it only has 20 block range I think for now what I'll do is I'll put it here and then I just have to get some power to it. I wonder, can I make energy cells? Energy cell. Uh, doesn't look like it, no. <laughs> um, what about power cells? Nope. Darn it. All right. Um, I think I'm getting pretty close to flux ducts, right? I'll just wait till I can make these. Cause yeah, I just need to make hardened glass for this. So we're getting pretty close to flux ducts. Um, so for now, I'll just move our generator over to it, I guess. Uh, if I pick it up with a wrench, does it retain its water? I doubt it. Before we start using our storage scanner though, let's actually convert all our chests over to storage crates just so that we can be a bit more uh, space efficient because double chests are kind of a disaster. So storage crates, they just take a little bit of living wood, a bunch of chests, and some of this refined iron. Um, so on that note, I should also make sure our blast furnace is running because uh, it produces refined iron very slowly. And go. 
Also, I forgot that I need to use treated wood for this, not just regular wood. So, there we go. And while we're at it, we may as well go all the way up to medium storage crates. Uh, our limitation in for small storage crates is refined iron. So, void crystals, you know, this is just coal. It's much easier to come by. And in fact, I just have to molecularly transform a bit more of it. It takes a reasonable amount of energy, but besides that, let's see, they should do three pieces. Yeah. Um, the medium crates hold twice as much as a small crate, which is nice. All right. So I think four medium crates can actually hold all of our items. So I'm just going to break these and just shove everything into storage crates. All right. So let's do a little bit of real quick reorganization here. All right, there go all of our chests and everything fits in, I think, one and a half. Yeah, basically one and a half medium crates. Plenty of room left. So all I have to do here is, let's see, set this to scan, mark, star the st crates that have items. And I'll minimize that. And now we can search items. So um, this acts as a single unified inventory. If I want to make, say, more small storage crates, I can do this. And when I mouse over at this, it'll even say, you know, what we're missing. In this case, we need more refined iron to make these. But um, cool. I love the storage scanner. Now, there's actually a portable version of this. But I don't know if we can make it yet. The storage tablet. What are we missing? Uh, emeralds, I guess. Do we have emerald ore? We have some nether emerald ore. Can I process this? Let's see. Smiths to two ores. Probably. I'm sure there's... I can macerate it to five... Uh, if I smith it to two ores, can I then extractor it to three? That's six. All right, that's better. So yeah, I can get some emeralds, and then hopefully we can make the storage tablet. All right, let's see about making this again. So yeah, this makes it very easy to you know see what you're missing. Um, you can go through nested recipes quite easily. Cool. So in addition to the tablet, we need a... I forget what it's called. One of these modules. Storage control screen module. Look at how easy crafting is now. Oh, what a joy. All right, so then what I have to do is I have to shift right click this on that and then craft the storage tablet with the module. And then I need to put energy into it. So I need, that's an energetic infuser. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to link this to JEI. So an energetic infuser. All right, this is going to take a little bit of crafting. All right, so for the time being, I'm just going to, uh, because we still can't really transport energy, I'm just going to put this next to our generator, turn our generator to face it, and charge our tablet through that. All right, so this uh, once it has a little energy, we can use it, but it just wirelessly links to our storage tablet there. Um, it uses, again, a little bit of energy for operation. So let's see, right now it has 600. Let's see how much it takes to, you know, put a few items away. But even without, like, a capacitor to recharge it, it really it lasts a long time, right? Putting, yeah, putting items away looks like it costs a tiny bit, like a really tiny bit. And maybe just having it open costs a little bit too. I don't know. In any event, it doesn't use much energy. So uh, where's my charger? Once it gets charged to full, it'll last quite a while. So let's just give it some time to charge. It charges pretty slowly. And it's charged. So now when I go uh, mining, for instance, I can be, you know, all the way down here in my mine. And when my inventory fills up, I can just dump the items into our storage. Cool. So uh, lead, that leads us to the next thing. I'm going to take a quick sidetrack and make a Tome of Knowledge. Um, however, we don't have, uh, for one, we don't have books. We should have books. Oh, I think I know where our books are. I got them from a village, and yeah, our village loot is still out here. So let's go put this away. Let's see. I don't, I don't want my potato. All right, so, uh, but I did use all my lapis. So I guess I'm going to do a quick mining run again to grab a couple pieces of lapis. Um, right now I have these 39 levels on me, and I don't really want to lose them if I die. So if I make a tome of knowledge, I can just stash them. I should also make this 
uh, one block taller so I don't hit my head on every step down, huh? I'm down here mining and I found another one of these monster boxes. So I guess if I break it, yeah, a bunch of monsters pop out. And right into the lava. Haha, <laughs> sucker zombies. This sword is also very sharp, so it kills them very quickly. Remember how earlier I said uh, or our tool needed a couple more points of lapis to get to fortune 3? Well, just by using it here, it's gotten those couple of points. Um, you know, like as you use a tool, any traits it has will slowly level up. So uh, yeah, now we have fortune 3 on our pick. Cool. Ah, die, stupid spider. What have we here? This looks like uh, uh, the stronghold wall, doesn't it? I wonder, did I just by pure chance happen into the stronghold? No, never mind, this is a dungeon. Alright, uh, you know, while I'm here, maybe I'll take a look here. I have weapons and armor now, so, you know, I probably won't instantly die. Looks like a Batanias, alright. Um, and I no longer have to put items away there because I can just dump all this stuff into storage. Huzzah. Jeez, just by going off the sounds here, there are a lot of enemies. Broke a spawner, and in a bottle. I wonder what that does. Uh, biome crystal, some music, a summoning pendulum. That's nice. That's like a golden lasso. It can, you know, move mobs around. Um, passive or hostile, I believe. Anyways, uh, down we go. And that looks like a spawner in that next room. Let's see if I can build over to it and break it without accidentally killing myself. I do not want to get knocked down there right now, though. Good thing I don't think spiders can go through this door. Zombies can. Aha! I'm the best. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, there's so many spiders in this room. More loot. Unfortunately, the loot in these chests doesn't actually look very good. Golden apple, sure. Alright, I cleared the entire like dungeon thing out. It wasn't really, again, much terribly exciting in there, so... Alas. Anyways, back to... I guess I don't even need to mine anymore. I'll come back and mine more later. I just wanted a little bit of lapis to make the book. Um, and after we make the book, there's one more quality of life item I want to make. So let's start by storing all our VXP in here. So that uh, if we, you know, if I do manage to get myself killed somehow, our EXP is not lost forever. Um, you know, I'll mine until it's daytime again, I guess. And then uh, I'll head back up and make one more thing this episode. And we're back. All right, so um, let's see. Now that we're back here, let's go ahead and make the Magnum Torch. Or maybe it's called a Mega Torch, I think. Uh, need some blocks of gold. All right. Uh, each one of these prevents mob spawns in, I think it's a 64 block radius. So if I make two of them, put one over here somewhere, put one on the other side of our base it should be enough to prevent mobs from spawning in the um you know area around our base so that i don't have to necessarily sleep through the nights anymore um, it might actually only be a 32 block radius i don't know uh, i'll err on the side of placing more than i might need because they're really cheap let's actually just make a few more you know i should look up the range one second all right so these mega or mega torches have a 32 block radius which means if you place them in a chunk corner they basically cover two chunks in each direction right because the chunk is 16 blocks um so it's like a four by four chunks when you place them in the uh corner of a chunk so let's see so it's like from here this chunk is covered this chunk is covered so i guess that one of them probably is actually enough to cover our entire base but um i'm just gonna lay these out in a way that covers you know a little bit beyond our base so that I don't have like creepers spawning and sneaking up on me. And there we go. We are now protected more or less against creepers and other mobs attacking us at night. So uh, with that, let's wrap up this episode here. We'll come back next time and continue to make tech progression. Um, you know, we have all the, I guess this is a, uh, what's the mod called? Uh, thermal expansion machines over here. And we have some bomb craft to get into soon. 
So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.